All right. All right. Here we are. We're back. Fuck, man. Back at it again. Tired Wasteland dude. Podcast. Wasteland back Podcast. Back at it again. How many things did you get? Uh, I thought you ate a whole thing. There's another thing right down there. Yeah, no, I got... A, I got a grilled chicken sandwich, I got a double steak burger, and this is a fish sandwich. <laughs> From uh, JB? Freddy's. Oh, Freddy's? Did you guys see the new Five Night at Freddy's trailer? No. No. <laughs> There's a TikTok Jack Black did where he says, you guys see the new FNAF trailer? And that's it. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the, the PlayStation did a state of play where they showed the new Five Nights at Freddy's game, and it's what people thought it would be, which is where you can actually move in the environment this time. Oh, really? And explore like the little pizza joint. It's like it's supposed to be like a remake of the first game, but with like a real fucking game this time. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's really exciting. Like, that's actually cool. I've never played any of them. <laughs> no. That actually looks cool. That's the so. first one to do that, right? Yeah. So I was like, hey, good job. Yeah. So yeah, it was just funny to see Jack Black, who's like has gray hair right now. It's like, you guys see the new trailer for Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> anyway, Jeremiah, do you want to talk about your health situation? Which I think it's comedic. Uh, I have three months to live. No. Oh. No, no, not really. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just wanted to say something fucked up after you said it was funny. <laughs> I think it's um, pretty funny. I have AIDS and <laughs> cancer. I have AIDS cancer. I have feline AIDS. <laughs> like, <laughs> I fucked a cat. <laughs> or a cat fucked me, I don't remember. <laughs> um, no, apparently I can't have... Wait, I don't know what it is yet. It's pr- I, I still think it's a uh, ulcer. Yeah. Um, basically, I'm not supposed to have anything with grease in it or any kind of seasoning. Or any alcohol, or Ooh, might as well just die. Uh, <laughs> anything fried. I think I already said that. Uh, yeah. No red meat. Yeah, all the good stuff. Oh, uh, so like I. Th- but it's stuff that yeah. people are, you shouldn't have every day anyway. Right. So, but it's like a hundred percent of my diet. So right. now well, it's that's probably come really, back to yeah. yeah. Probably come back to get. Which it. for a while, especially in my early twenties. That was my diet, so I understand it's very easy to fall into because it's actually good tasting food. So yeah, so now do you have to go like vegetarian? So well, you can, you can just like chicken, chicken, and the fish. exact same thing that they said our our old boss had uh, is what this lady thought I have, which is oh. when he went pescatarian. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well. well that's a good diet. That's like an actually healthy diet, so. Yeah. But uh, you can eat a lot of good meals that way anyway. I mean, I actually really like grilled fish. I think grilled fish is super tasty. Yeah. My only thing is that I got co- too used to eating chicken all the time because chicken's pretty good for you. Like, or like it doesn't, ha- it's not bad for you really. And I got so burnt Real out. Real chicken. Yeah. I'm talking, yeah, I'm not talking KFC. And uh, I got super burnt out on grilled chicken chicken and noodles chicken and rice doesn't matter i don't want to fucking eat chicken <laughs> like i fucking hate chicken and then since yeah. then i've just been eating so much beef and burger like i just fuck chicken but like it's good it's just if you eat too much of it you get sick of it so far yeah i'm I, about to get real sick of chicken yeah yeah well try well, you can do like turkey get turkey yeah too i know uh, turkey burgers aren't really that good but you just smother them in ketchup you know <laughs> turkey burgers are actually pretty good oh uh, mustard man yeah. Okay. There's you just have to sauce it up basically. Okay, okay. Because like turkey burgers are not bad. Uh, I say that sometimes and other times Turkey bacon's not bad. Turkey bacon's Turkey fine. bacon's pretty turkey good. Turkey bacon turkey bacon's perfectly fine. I don't think it's better than regular bacon. But I, but if you give me if you cook me up some turkey bacon, I'm not gonna tell you I'm not gonna eat it. I'll right. eat that shit. Especially if it's like I'll eat all of it. <laughs> yeah. If you're like, hey, this is turkey bacon and you're like expecting it, it's gonna be like, yeah, okay, like Yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's all good. Um yeah. now we're getting into Health cast. No I want well, you guys to stay alive out there and be healthy. Well and live don't, a long healthy don't get, life. You know what's Dirt. Yeah, don't get GERD. Well, before the pandemic, I heard, like, talks about this, but 
um, they're trying to synthesize meat. Yeah. Like, 3D print it, basically. Oh, they're doing that now. Really? Yeah. People are... The conservative people are mad because Bill Gates is the one funding it. Yeah. I don't get the whole Bill Gates thing. Yeah, I didn't know people hated him. Out of all <laughs> the billionaires, he seems like the most chill. Yeah, it's like, because he's liberal. Aren't, aren't most of them? Isn't Bezos liberal? Yeah, but he's also a billionaire, so he's conservative. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. They're socially liberal, economically conservative. Yeah, that's what that's like a very popular thing to do if you're rich, because you can't you can't like it's a it's a hit you're hypocritical if you you know you get the good PR and you get to fuck people over with your money. Yeah, yeah, that's what Joe Biden does. Joe yeah, Biden yeah. is economically conservative as fuck. He loves yeah. to say, "Hey, I know we're bombing Syria, but we're gonna use non-binary bombers <laughs> to." <laughs> And so this is the first drone strikes done by a non-binary member of society. Therefore, it's okay. It's like, no, we don't want you to bomb Syria. Yeah. Well, we're going to end up black lives matter, but not like dark brown lives in other countries. (laughs) Yeah. We're going to end up going to war with China. We're all going to end up drafted. (laughs) That's That's what they said when Trump was president, but it didn't happen. I think he... Well, Biden kicked loved, it off though. Biden like, and China are like, they have good relationships. So I don't know if that, but we might all the re- repo- we might go back to get letting China do some fucked up stuff. Yeah, Trump was pretty tough on China, and it was probably a good thing. But because China is kind of scary, but that's okay. You know, whatever, nothing matters. I don't know. What anyway? Why am I even talking about this? Conservatives think that China is going to take over the U.S. Yeah, I mean, if anyone could do it, it would be them. Yeah. Well, China or Russia. I don't know much about... I don't know if Russia could. No, Russia would have to do... They'd have to fuck us up. Like, I think that's why they keep trying to sabotage they, our stuff. They, like, our elections and shit. Because I think they know that they need to weaken us first <laughs> before they can do anything. But They have a lot of people. <laughs> China? Russia. Russia? And During World War Two, you know how they fought the Germans? Through attrition or whatever, hmm. just qu- quality, quantity, not quality. Yeah. So German soldiers were highly trained. Yeah. But there, for every one German soldier, there was like five Russian soldiers. Yes, yeah, I know. So they just like send them all out. I know that in in Russia in World War Two, if if they would like were try to run away, you were told to shoot your own like teammates. So that's anywhere. Oh okay. <laughs> for desertion. Yeah, I guess the U.S. I did guess, that too. I guess we talk about Russia more because U.S. is trying to make Russia look bad when in reality, it is. Yeah, we, well, we do it too, though. Yeah. And if we say we do it, then they're like, "Then Russia can't be that bad." Now can they? Because <laughs> that's the way Americans think. Because they're very fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but three D printed beef—that's fucking cool. I mean, if it as long as it's pretty much the same i'm assuming they wouldn't sell something that hurts you so yeah well not only like but they can engineer it to be like the perfect piece of meat yeah Yeah. they could potentially make it even better than animal wagyu beef yeah like lab grown wagyu. if it tastes good and it doesn't hurt you then i don't see what the problem is and it's self-sustaining people i know when people were talking about like cloning well it's not self-sustaining it's more sustainable people were talking about cloning and how that's sustainable a terrible thing but it's like we breed animals just to eat them yeah not fuck (laughs) we breed animals just to eat them it's like a lot of those animals right now like literally they live to die and it's kind of a weird thing when you think about because if we did that to humans that'd be really really fucked up and we just bred humans and ate them, but yeah, but because animals. Well, you know, okay, we used to breed humans and put them in enslave them. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, I know. I am aware. <laughs> well, wow, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> it was a uh, yeah. It wasn't very good of us. Oopsie. Yo, can we get some reparations for that? Nah. No, you owe us reparations. You owe us. <laughs> get back to work, Jamal. You work. <laughs> you will flip those burgers, and you will never achieve anything in life. Yeah, yeah. What? It's fair. Just work harder. <laughs> anyway, we talk about that a lot. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think that um, a lot of stuff... I mean, cloning, if if we do make perfect cloning technology, that does have weird implications for what we can do with humans. But when it comes to just making beef beef out of thin air, then I mean, I don't see the... 
They cloned a, f- a ferret. Like yeah. one of the last of its kind. Thing. Yeah, I saw that. that was yeah, cool. I know I know some countries do stuff with cloning, so Yeah. It's illegal in America. Is it really? Yes, in America it's illegal. To clone anything? Yeah. Or well, we don't research it or, or do anything with it. We're not I know a lot of co- countries have ethical concerns, so they just completely outlaw it. Yeah. Which I think is kind of ridiculous. It, it is weird and scary, but not... What isn't that's new, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's here's the big question. If you clone, clone yourself, yourself... And then kill it and eat it, are you gay? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Only if you You're, eat. No, the no, no, no. Okay, so this is. <laughs> we literally talk so, about fucking our clones like last so, episode. So, so if we you can't talk about that, <laughs> if you die and they clone you, no, I hate is that. Is that the same person as you? I hate that. Did you so get much. your? No, brain no, no, no. Transplanted? No, it's just a perfect copy of you. Well, then no. Okay, so, so what if you got your consciousness uploaded? Yes. Would that still? Be but what does you? that even mean? Consciousness uploaded. You so can't, if, there, so if you there is a way, there is a way. Dead? Elon Musk is working on that, right? There, now, yeah, the, there is the a chat. way. There is a way to convert our consciousness into numerical data. Right, but the, yeah, and I think that would mean the the past self would be dead, though. Yeah, but and if they made a clone and inserted your consciousness so, that they got from you, right, would you still be alive or would you? I don't be think dead? so because the way I'm pretty sure it works is like the brain is like. Your, uh, it's like your, what do you call it, CPU or whatever? It's like, that's you, and everything in the brain, and so once the brain's turned off, I think it's just done. I don't think, I don't think you... But if you get your CPU, it's like copied out. It's like when I copy a file on my flash drive, that's not the original file, that's the copy, so. Right, but if you copy the whole computer like you you get like a, a you get like an eight terabyte drive <laughs> but it still works on a different computer the yeah, exact but, same you're would. getting the yeah uh, but i don't think when you close your eyes and you wake up i think that person who wakes up thinks that it worked and it was success but i think you're dead <laughs> like so you're <laughs> i think you're still dead so you won't be able to perceive the new body i'm pretty sure the only way it could work is if they take your entire brain manage to keep it alive and transfer it into a robot or something or just or a computer that just simu- is like a simulation or something but i'm pretty sure the second you just you, you turn the brain off i think you're just dead yeah so well so yeah. i mean even if you yeah i i see what you're saying even if you take the consciousness that doesn't mean you'll go with the consciousness yeah and it's hard to explain that, because that new person wakes up will literally think it worked yeah, because they have your memories, so but they don't, don't. So like, you created a new you, and it's like, yeah, I'm going to move on and keep. And they're they're not going to do anything different. It's the same exact. They're going to do whatever but you if, were doing. So it's if their weird. brain is the exact same brain so as you, you, right? So let's say you didn't. It's do not it. your brain, but it's the exact same. Well, let's, so let's let's say you didn't do it, but your sibling did it. Yeah. And so you, if you didn't know, you would just think it's the same person. Yeah, because it's a perfect copy. Right. But, like, and, like, they think it worked, and then, like, how do I explain this? It's, like, it's not them, though. But, like, but but it's as if they didn't go anywhere, but it's not them. You know what I'm saying? I kind of get it's what you're saying. It's just a perfect copy. But they have but to then, be dead for it to work. Wouldn't you have to... I feel like they, I feel like once, I feel like you're dead, and that's just a perfect copy. Even with your consciousness uploaded? Yeah, yes! Because... What, it's, okay, so then what would you... Would you consider that consciousness a new person? Yes. Though it would be strange, because it is... If it's a literal perfect copy, like I said, they would just have your memories, and then they would just be like, no, I am this person. Like, they wouldn't know that they're a copy. They would be like, oh, shit, that shit worked, you know? But what if they did so, know they were a copy, though? So you... Well, they, if they talk to me for five seconds and figure out they're a copy, then maybe they'll be like, oh, fuck, and, and then their whole life will be in shambles. But, but the funny thing is... Even if their life's in shambles, I could do that to you right now and it'd be the same thing because they would act the way that you would because you're a perfect copy. So they would have the same emotional reaction as you. So it's it's just like for everyone else, you're still alive. Except for you. Like Yeah, no, so for, you don't for, think so for me, if my sibling did it, I'd be like, Yeah, it's I can still hang out with my, my brother and it's just my brother. But like for him, he's fucking dead, and that's a new brother. You know, but that's what I'm saying. So you don't think like okay, it's fucking a weird kind of. But right on your deathbed, they upload your conscious to a new body, 
you close your eyes and then you're dead and then this other body's living as you you wouldn't wake up in that new body i i don't know if that's possible I, it, unless, it's interesting to think unless about. there's a way where we can keep the brain alive if we put it on ice or something but if we take every and then we attach new things if we to make, it if we can keep the brain alive, I'm assuming... Do you need the brain to be alive if you've if you've turned the brain into data? I don't, I don't think we can take our old brain and put it on, put in a new brain. You know what I'm saying? But if you've taken everything from the brain, brain, to brain... If you've taken everything from your brain and converted it into numerical data... No, I don't think you'd just wake up. I think it would just be a perfect copy. But it's the same <laughs> brain. Yes, but I don't think it would... But it depends what you... Yeah, you know. So, yeah, you would just be dead, though. It would just be another you. That's perfect. I don't know, it's hard. But possibly in like a Gundam or something. Like a super cool robot, like Iron Man or something. Yeah. And you'd be like, damn, dude. <laughs> would you Would you do it? That's what I was going to, yeah. Uh, or, or, I mean, if I could survive the process, like if, if, if I still have my self, I guess, but... Like if you're about to die. That, I was thinking about that. And maybe, but... It, it depends on if I think I'm that much of a worthwhile member of society. There needs to be a second me. How far would you be willing to go on with, like, trading bodies, then? Like, what do you mean? Well, how far in the future are you willing to well, I wouldn't, I continue just, your conscious? From my understanding, I just wouldn't exist anymore. So, like, that, that Tyler would exist, but not me. So, but from my understanding, it's like... It's if I think Tyler still needs to be around in the world, like Batman. Like, does there need to be another Batman and Tyler? Okay, so what about... Probably your, not, but... But if... What about this? Yeah. The procedure is completely free. Your family is like, yes, please do it. Would you just be like, eh, might as well give it a try. If I wake up, then that's cool, but I'm dying dying anyway. Yeah, I, have, I mean, only if I was, like, already... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I was dying. It depends if what kind of pain I was in. Because you think about it, when you're, like, really sick, you're like, oh, I'll do anything, like, to stop. I imagine it's how dying people feel, and that's why they just let go. Yeah. And so, it's like, it depends what kind of pain I'm in. It depends if I'm just, like, ready to end it or not, you know? But if I just, like, am told I have cancer, and they're like, you have approximately this many months to live, I'd be like, nah, I'll just die of cancer. Like, because I want to live as long as possible. Like, you know? Yeah. But yeah, death is an extremely scary concept to me, and I'm not going to download my conscious and be like, Ugh. see, you'll do it, and then you'll be like, yeah, it worked. I'm sure. And you, we, me would argue all the time, like yeah. we do now. That's the thing. And so you would come to work and be like, I'm the same Shane. I'm like, no, you're fucking not. You're Shane fucking too. You're Shane too. I'll still hang out with you, but my friend's dead. <laughs> And you'd be like, no, and we would just argue about it. So, but you would, but you wouldn't even know. And I'd be like this. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> but you would know the truth. Would you want an identical? You would never know. Reprint of your body, though. No. No, he'd want in like a new first, probably younger, and you know something that would live longer. But also, no, we but can I mean... have robots. I do. I mean. Robots are the coolest thing ever, and I've always would have loved to have been like a robot, basically. Is what I'm saying. I would like to be a cyborg, honestly. Yeah. Like uh, you are one in D and D. Yeah, like <laughs> like a fully metal arm that is like I thought feels no pain. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. It would be weird, but at the same time, like if you ever had like something attached to you for like a period of time, I guess it would be like that. So. Yeah. Cause no, you, you you still people who who have lost their limbs have like the the phantom limb where they feel their arm still there but it's not really there so they go like oh and then they're like oh wait I can just move my arm and I won't hit the wall or something. Wouldn't it be really cool if you could like turn like decide whether you feel anything so you could like stick your hand like a right. boiling pot of water and not feel anything and then take it out and turn I it get, back on. It depends if we have like like Terminator style like cybernetics where like it has like blood and skin still. Yeah. And then like a robot arm under then you'd be like so then would have like the nerve endings if you've ever read so the movie blade runner is based off of do android's dream of electric sheep and it's literally the same story it's just a few different things but they go into detail and explain how the androids are created and they are like literally like they're born in like little like test tubes but they're like they're humans they have like human flesh and blood and organs and everything 
Okay. They just have like, but they're just like man-made robots. They have like robot bodies, robot skeletons, basically, and they're completely programmed. They don't have their brains are a hundred percent programmed. So if we had like that shit, where like you're literally just a straight up human, but you're not human. You're a man-made creation, and then we could attach those limbs to us, <laughs> and then we could have our nerve endings and shit. That could be fucking trippy. That'd be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then you can turn it off. <laughs> By using your iPhone, and you clip a button on your app called Turn Off My Feelings. <laughs> <laughs> you just go deadpan. Yeah. Wrong button. Wrong button. Mm, wrong button. <laughs> Ugh, I, hate, I hate when you code no feelings. Mm, sorry, wife. You don't have feelings. Why are you saying sorry? I don't know. <laughs> Please don't leave me. I need you for economic stability. <laughs> you should have spent all your money on that robot upgrade. <laughs> Why are you still in no feelings mode? Because I hate you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's my uh my my other sitcom. After my Biden or no, my Bush and no, my Clinton and Trump sitcom. Yeah. Then I have the robot boy sitcom. No, we gotta add Biden in there now too. Oh <laughs> Biden's but yeah, yeah, no, Biden's gonna be in there. He's gotta be the warden. Biden's the one who's like, Don't worry, Trump, Clinton, I'm getting you boys out. And then like three months go by and goes, I tried. I tried everything I could. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I bombed Syria though. Uh, I did bomb Syria. And Trump's like, excellent, excellent. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Clinton's like, I like what you did, <laughs> but it doesn't help us. And Trump's like, mm, you should bomb Iran next. And then Biden's like, or, uh, <laughs> and Biden's like, that's a great idea. And then Clinton's like, no, get, get us out first, and then we'll bomb all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary had this to say, I'm saddened that the president could not free my husband from jail however i applaud him on killing those terrorists <laughs> but he bombed a hospital full of nothing but innocence those terrorists <laughs> wait so what happened with that they were like i don't know why they bombed syria they later just like <laughs> war crimes and then just turned <laughs> <laughs> every president has to have at when least it, one war crime when america his does something when america like, bombs it in early in case yeah. he dies when america bombs and kills people americans are just like yeah we can do that <laughs> what since when <laughs> Like, there's, there's this interview with, with uh, Bernie, and this woman's like, we're not going to war with Iran. He goes, well, we, we did acts of war against them. And she goes, no, we didn't. We just we just uh, drone striked near them. And then he's like, yeah, drone strike. That's an act of war. We're bombing them. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what? <laughs> it's like, yes, we can't do that. <laughs> That's America, not an okay thing to do. America can. Because America wrote the rules. <laughs> but no one else can People, do that in the yeah. whole world. <laughs> you can't just bomb other countries. Only America does it and gets away with it. America does the equivalent of, like, just walking in a room full of people and just setting, like, a big-ass gun down on the table and being like, yeah. I hope no one has any problems with this, and then just beat the shit that's, out of a guy, and we're like... That's, that's what happened. Yeah. We, we went to that Iranian, like, military leader and killed him. And we're like, you guys gonna go to war about it? And like, No. And was, that's no. what I thought. And then and as Trump's leaving the room, they go, but Mr. Trump, why, why did you kill him? Because. And then he walks away. Because <laughs> <laughs> all he said was, like, they did something to us in the 70s. Like, But he was of no threat of, as of right now. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he wanted to start the war. Like, my older brother posted something. He was like, oh, you say what you want about the last president. At least he didn't commit any acts of war. I was like, what are you talking about? Yes, he fucking did. He... He tried so hard to go to war with Iran without just, like, straight up invading them without a reason. The difference is, is that, like, they just wouldn't fight back. They're like, no, we're not going to war with fucking America. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, just, like, they, they like, did the thing. Like, when you get bullied, you just go in a fetal position. Like, stop, 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 stop. And you just keep taking it until they get bored, and then they just walk away. Mm -hmm. That's what Iran did. <laughs> and Trump was like, yeah, all right, fine, I'm just... Well, and then Biden's over there anyway. Yeah, and yeah. he's going to get Trump's war. Like yeah, well, see, Obama had the peace deal, so Biden said he was going to get back into the peace deal, but then he started bombing Syria. So I don't know what Biden's plan is. Biden just says shit and then says, "Yeah, sorry, Chief, I did what I could." <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm full of malarkey right now, but I know you guys love when I say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and it's just like 
I was telling Shane today, I was like, oh, he did the thing during the debates where he goes, and for the next thing, I would like to add, oh, that's my time. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> and he did that with the minimum wage. He was like, we're going to get $15 an hour federal level. Oh, one Democrat said, no, I'm not going to try to convince him. <laughs> and he just gave up. And then $15 minimum wage is dead now. It's like, and it's like, hey, it's dead. Just like those Syrians. So as you can see, I'm very upset and displeased with Biden. I know he's got three, what, four? He's got four, is it four more years or three more years? Because this is his first year. It's so early on. We might as well say four more years. Yeah. So I'll give him some time to see if he does a few cool things. Obama did some things I liked, too. But Obama did a lot of things I didn't like. So I don't know if it's, it's definitely better than a Republican president. But it's like such a, it's like, it's like, it's, okay, it's like if you're taking a pill because you're depressed, but then the pill makes you really fat and stink, and you have no friends because of it, and then you're sad all the time, but you're not exactly suicidal anymore. <laughs> you're just really miserable, but not the same way. You're, <laughs> you're just socially miserable, but not chemically miserable. It's, a, it, it's better, but is it? But is it? You know, yeah. that's Biden, and that's the Democrats for the most part. So, and I think it's important that we keep calling it out, especially since I was so pro Biden on this podcast. So, I was pretty anti Biden, so yeah. I feel pretty. Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty you're anti Biden, yeah. but at, at the same time, it's just like, what the fuck do we do? You know, there was just no one to just vote for. Leave. Yeah, just that's what my little brother said. That he's really looking towards like living in uh, I can't remember what country. Oh, uh, New Zealand is what he was looking at. That'd be really fucking cool. Yeah, he's really he, he 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 was like I he's like we can get there faster if we do it together, <laughs> and I was like no I don't want to live with you, uh, but I too think about leaving America all the time. I think about it all the time of being like why am I still here? Because at first I was like we can fix this country. We can. It'd be so easy to make America literally such a great country, but will we do it? Can we stop the corruption? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if we can. We're going to be old men. Not old men, but I feel like, at least middle-aged I feel like if it ever happens. It might be a lot. Man, I feel like presidents take way too long. I feel like you're president for so long. It's ridiculous. I don't want to do another four years of shit. Let alone another four years after. But yeah, no. If, Imagine if, if he gets elected again. If Biden... It, like, well, here's the thing. I'm I'm ready for my villain arc where I go where I vote Republican for the first time to, just to get Biden the fuck out, but Trump's pr probably going to be the nominee. Yeah, and it's like, oh, so we're doing literally a repeat. Let's time to leave. America. And Trump will win again. Time to leave America. Like, like between I, Trump and Biden going a second time, yeah. like. There's no way. The only reason I'm pretty sure Biden won this time was because people were like, okay, we fuck around, Trump will win. And so they actually went out and voted. But like, whereas last time they're like, I'm not voting for Hillary. <laughs> kidding? Yeah. And so... I still think Hillary, I don't know if she would have been worse, but I think she would have been equivalent to Trump. She would have... We... It's so hard to say because I've never even seen her. It's like... I can tell you what she what she promised, but I can tell you what Biden promised too. You know, it yeah. doesn't really matter. Like if she did what she promised, she would be way better than Trump. But I, that means nothing. At this she point. was also trying to reinstate the draft and start a land war in Syria yeah. against Russia because uh, Russia was active in there. Yeah, in she's super super anti Russia. Yeah. And there's no way I want to get drafted to fight Russia for no fucking reason. There's like, a lot of weird. I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, or if I haven't, I probably talked about it with you guys. But there's a lot of establishment Democrat people who are really into the idea of uh, forcing the military on every American, just like other countries do, because that's pretty common in other countries. I like the way Switzerland does it. I, I wouldn't be. Yeah. Okay. We've definitely talked about this. On the yeah. Line. But what? What? What's the way Switzerland does it? Everyone gets drafted. No one goes to war. You basically get trained. Uh, oh, you, yeah, Switzerland doesn't go to war. Then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, go And ahead. then, basically, the entire country works as a standing army in case they ever get attacked. Yeah. Because you have the training to do so. And I'm, I am I do like the idea... I've thought about going to the military many times, just because you would get 
trained on doing something basically and it's really good for uh like your resume the space force looks like it could be really cool yeah the coast guard looks like it could be cool but yeah that's what uh, kaylee's in no she's in the national guard oh she's in the national guard no, yeah. <laughs> I got them totally confused. No, like, there's a lot less respect for the Coast Guard than there is National, National Guard. Guard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's even lower on the... Yeah, no. Chain. Well, yeah, I mean, I would rather do something somewhat easy, though, so... I know people with big... who Big brain people, they go in the Air Force, right? Or the Navy. Or the Navy. Yeah. My dad's in the Air Force. Yeah. He's going to the Middle East. What's just to do medic stuff, or yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I would assume medic stuff since he's a, is he going to Syria? I can't uh, remember. Okay. It's okay. some Middle Eastern country. I don't think he could disclose well, we, it with us. We we have right now. I don't we know. have yeah, uh, we have sense. troops and locations all over the world. You have to remember, so it wouldn't be just straight up Syria. But I don't even know. I think we're still in Afghanistan. I think we're still in Iraq. I don't know. We're in like. We're just, Middle East yeah, country. we're just in the Middle East, just fucking around. Like, yeah, we're just, just shooting kids. We're just doing shit, man. Everywhere yeah. but Saudi Arabia. I'm sure we're we friends send, with Saudi Arabia. I'm pretty sure we help Israel too. We probably send troops to Israel because we're so buddy buddy. I don't know yeah, that for sure, do. but I'm just. It's so. It seems so obvious. So like, it, it's probably true. We send them a ton of money every year. Yes, so. we pay for them to do anything they want. I'm like, keep killing those brown kids. We love killing brown people. It makes it okay if you pay a brown person to kill another brown person. <laughs> yeah. I guess. As long as you're not but Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll take the Jews over the Muslims any day. He's going to... This yeah. summer for like six months. Damn. Yeah. Well, at least he's just doing like medical stuff, so... He's probably fine. Yeah. Probably completely safe. And he won't be like a field medic. Yeah, yeah. No, that's... They, they usually reserve that for people our age. Like, Oh, I, yeah, I was going to just say like active members, basically. Like people who are... Well, your dad would be an active. Mm-hmm. But like people who are like stationed over there, like live there. Oh, yeah. That's what I was... I don't know if I'm wording it correctly, but... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You probably worded it Active just deployment... Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You probably said it better just by saying our age, because you're basically assuming they're, like, like just did their training, and they're, like... Yeah, basically, you just had a boot camp, just... Like, you have to be in the military for a certain number of years before you get out of it, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Four years, usually, I think. So, it, I get what you're saying. We Everyone gets what we're saying, we just don't know what we're talking about. At least I don't. I don't either. <laughs> I'll freely admit it, but... Yeah. Oh, <sighs> Yeah. Um, did you yeah. know that the military is socialist? Uh, yeah. Free college, free health care. Yeah, you only get socialism if you give yourself up to the country. And a lot of people in the South think that's completely fair, because you're, you're giving yourself to the country, so the country's giving something back to you. I agree, but I also agree that if I pay taxes, I'm giving something to the country, and I should get something back for that. But I understand my taxes go towards the military, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's working the way I want it to, but yeah. yeah. You are paying for free college, though. Yeah, just not... Just not for you. For me or my possible future children or anyone I know and love, besides my friends who are in the military. Well, you're paying for Israeli people. Yeah. Health, free health care. Yeah, I'm giving uh, free health care to people in Israel. That's great. I should just move to Israel. Yeah. Israel would be all right to live at. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, living in Israel is fine. Yeah, it's not fine. <laughs> yeah, living in Israel is fine. Israel's not that different from like it's just a nice. It's I'm not gonna say it's like just like America. It's not just like America, but from what I've seen of it, it's just like a cool, like little chill place, you know. But unless you're near Palestine, yeah. If you're then, yeah, if you're near the border of Palestine, then you you have child bomb bombers trying to hug you. I want to go to Kyoto. Kyoto? Like Japan? Yeah. Kyoto. I mean, yeah, I want to go to Japan someday. I still haven't gone. My friend has gone like three times. I want to go to Japan. I want to go too. That'd be dope. I want to get panties from a vending machine. Yeah, bro. 
Yeah, you only need to bring one pair of underwear because you can just get used Women's panties yeah. at a great discount. <laughs> like vending machine. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I'm supposed to wear them. Just keep head. stacking them. Just layer them. Mm. You could <laughs> use panties. <laughs> use I gotta say use. Like, people who smell underwear are actually just disgusting people. I mean, di- women body odor is just disgusts me. <laughs> I hate it. And I hate when women don't shower in a while. I hate women being... I, I know men are stinkier. I'm not debating that. I'm just saying I hate... The idea of sniffing their dirty clothes is just... It's vomit-inducing. That's what I'm saying. I don't, especially... Yeah. especially, you, especially wouldn't, you, you wouldn't be smelling... PJ, which is short for pussy juice, you'd be smelling Shit. PS, which is short for pussy sweat, and that don't smell no good. Sweat. It smells like fucking rancid tuna, and nobody wants that in their life. Yeah, yeah, and and, it, and it's close to their butthole too, so it just smells like diarrhea. And why do you, why do you smell that? <laughs> Not to mention when it's is that dark stain a brown stain or a red stain? <laughs> Pick your poison. <laughs> It ain't gonna be good either way. Why do people sniff panties? They they have to be like. I want to just be like you guys are really horny like fourteen year olds who are like going through puberty still, but they're like adult men, mm-hmm. and it's like why? What is wrong with you? This is what no pussy does to a motherfucker. <laughs> just gotta smell the yeah, smell the asshole roses. smell. Yeah. <laughs> I smell that asshole smell and I go oh, that's what a vagina smells like yes you can make a stupid amount of money doing that too make As fake a... scents or whatever no I, they like, probably do that They probably for those used panties they probably do that so even as a guy you can sell it to gay guys where you just yeah. wear the same pair of underwear for like that sucks a week and a half and then he's like yeah you just need to like nut yeah. in it and piss in it or whatever oh god and then, but then they'll give you like a hundred and something bucks. Do you? Okay. Uh, girls will like steal your clothes and just wear them, and then they go. It reminds it. That smell reminds me of you. They don't, and they just like wear it and they go. Oh, and I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> give me my clothes back. Well, like I guess they'll ask for permission sometimes, but like other times they'll just like. If you see a girl and you let her wear your hoodie, there's like an eighty percent chance that hoodie's not yours anymore. And you have to be like, hey, take it off, bitch. <laughs> like, but it's the only... And they do this on purpose. It's the only thing I have to wear. I, I don't want to wear my like shirt out in the cold. I'll, I'll freeze. And you should have thought about that before you... <laughs> thought you could just walk out with my hoodie and I'd just never see it again. <laughs> but they straight up do that shit. And I think it's... And it's so normalized on their end. They're all like, we all do it. Like, mm-hmm. And we all discuss this. We've all agreed it's normal and fine. I'm like, no, you discussed it amongst yourselves. You didn't get I my you, you consented and you consented, but I didn't consent. <laughs> if guys did that, there'd be a yeah a, a problem. Like well, this one girl I dated did like leave we're her all down with the rapes, right? <laughs> like <laughs> she, yeah. <laughs> well, we consented. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I, there's so many ways to take that joke. Where if guys got to make all the rules, but you know we're just not gonna go yeah, there. We'll, we'll... We're not gonna go there on this uh, podcast. We just want to talk about uh, smelly, poopy, bloody butthole women. We don't want to talk about anything else worse than that. But anyway, um, no, a girl did leave like her used undies on purpose. And she's like, for you. And I'm like, for me, for what? <laughs> to show my friends, be like, hey, look at this. <laughs> Girls wear underwear. Girls underwear. <laughs> it probably stinks by now. <laughs> uh Whenever we broke up and I gave her all of her stuff back, I just, like, put them in the bag of her stuff <laughs> at the very <laughs> bottom. Like, I don't know. If she, she can just wash these and they're fine. So I just, there you go. <laughs> you can wear them again. Because I didn't really want them anymore. I, I didn't want them in the first place. So. <laughs> That's she was cold. Just kind of, she, yeah, I don't know. That might have been the ultimate insult. <laughs> she's like, you're, really? You're not going to jerk off to me now that we broke up? No. <laughs> Maybe a little no, bit. No, I don't even. Maybe want, a little bit. I don't even not, want the option. Yeah. I don't need those to be a part of that. I don't need to be. Ah, oh, this is what she smells like. <laughs> at least, at least when girls do it, they're. I'm assuming they're not furiously masturbating, and they're just like wearing your hoodie, <laughs> and they're just like, ah, oh, it's like I'm I'm with them right now, like we're laying next to each other in bed, holding hands, doing nothing else. 
But with guys and panties, there's just straight up like, oh, I'm licking it. I gotta lick it. <laughs> I gotta lick it. <laughs> and then they just fiercely, fiercely masturbate. Yeah. Yeah. And then come in it. Like, oh no, I ruined it. I guess I gotta keep using it next time. <laughs> I guess that would have been the ultimate <laughs> insult, is to give it back all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, she'd be like, oh, you used it. Nice. <laughs> then she'll definitely yeah, I'm done it. with it now. <laughs> I don't need this anymore. <laughs> this is a metaphor for our relationship. I came in it and then I... <laughs> 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 Alright, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to the next topic. How do we even talk about this? Uh, it was probably me. Yeah. You wanna talk about the oh, stream? Kyo- we started talking about Kyoto. Kyoto! Yeah, we need to go to Japan. Yeah. We need to go to Japan. That's and, all there is to it. And buy used panties. <laughs> we don't have to buy used panties. And if you want to, just for the meme of it, I will support yeah. you. I won't make fun of you at all. I will. I'll buy a... I want to buy the whole thing, the sex toy, the flesh toy thing. And, and then I'll just, like, go around you guys and be like, woo Like, sticking my fingers through it, like, woo And then I'll keep making... I'll keep poking you guys with it. What stuff. is it? Like, the flesh hole thing. Like, you... Like a flashlight? Yeah, but it's not it's not like the brand fleshlight. It's like a it's like literally just like a a hole. I don't even know if they look like vaginas half the time. The one I saw in that video that they got from a vending machine <laughs> was really small and like clear and white. And it's supposed to simulate, you know you know. <laughs> and it looks gross and unappetizing, but it probably does feel good, I'm assuming, if you lube it up. I mean if you lube something up, it's gonna probably feel good, so I mean, there's people in America fucking jars of mayonnaise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Oranges and cantaloupes. Yeah, all the fruit. You're you're supposed to warm it up in the microwave. Yeah. I don't know. You'd probably burn your dick. I guess you have to warm it up and then wait a bit for it to cool up. You have to, like, temp it out, right? It's like, (laughs) oh, yeah, (laughs) 98.6. Yeah, it's It's hard to... It's like still breathing. It's hard to... Yeah, I guess if you can stay horny through that whole process... Oh, did I just get a boner? <laughs> Hold on, let me whip out my cantaloupe. And <laughs> Son, what are you doing with the can? Don't worry about it. I need the whole damn cantaloupe. Yes. I'll give it back later. <laughs> Add that extra flavor. <laughs> Why is this one so gross? <laughs> anyway, we'll go to Japan. We don't have to do gross stuff. But I do want to go to like... Uh, all the anime and video game stores ever. Yeah. And in, in Akihabara, there are... It's that's like the nerd place where like you just walk around and there's just like video game shit and anime shit everywhere and it's fucking cool. Also, they still have arcades at in like every city there, like multiple arcades a city cuz in Japan the arcade scene never died. And now because of modern technology, you go to like play Tekken 7, which is like the modern Tekken and it has like online. So you're playing other people and other arcades across Japan. It, it, what the fuck? <laughs> that sounds so cool. Why don't we have that? Yeah, it's a, why don't... It's a shame we don't have we, anything like that. And, like, video game culture is so big right now in America. And there's, like, no. Mobile games, loot boxes, and the shooters. And that's it. And it's like, no. we Give me arcade games. I will put all of my money... You would get way more money from me from arcade games than you would with, like, mobile gotcha games or loot boxes. I would pay so much arcade game money. Because I love arcade games. They're fun as fuck. Especially if they had, like, a, uh, where you could just go put your credit card in and then type oh, in yeah. how many coins you wanted, and it just... Which, are, it's probably how it works. Well, like, I know with Dave and Buster's, you just, like, pay them, and they give you, like, a prepaid card, basically, and then you can, like, fill it up. I feel like that'd be... I mean, that's... It's pretty much the same concept. That's good, but that's, yeah. like, if you're not planning on spending all your money. You could get someone to spend oh, all yeah. their money if it was, oh, like, yeah. oh, like... I'm down. Yeah. I want to spend money on games. But we have barcades here. Someday we'll go to Start Bar whenever things are a little bit more open. We're almost there. Is Shane going to be allowed in there? No. Actually, I have no idea. I think I don't think they check you at the door. It, she, it, I just think he can't order any drinks. Usually bars let people under 21 but in before like 9 o'clock. It's like on certain days, you don't have to pay for the arcade games. And those days are more packed. But, like, there's just a bunch of arcade games that you just play them. It's great. That sounds... Yeah. That's over in St. Louis, right? Yeah. There's another barcade in St. Louis, too, but I haven't been to it yet. 
Primo said that one was like even cooler. Fuck, man. I need I need to play arcade games and and we need, and we need to go to Japan and play arcade games and buy stuff. Buy so many things. Buy a waifu pillow. You can buy them here, but I guess it's more authentic. If I was in Japan, like, well, when in Rome, and then I would just buy the waifu pillow. Then when I'm cuddling in bed, I go, well, when in Rome, and then I would just, like, cuddle the pillow. And then when I was wanted to jack off later and you weren't home, I'd be like, well, when in Rome, <laughs> and I would use the pillow to do that. Did you say when and you weren't home? Yeah. <laughs> Shane's not, Shane's not in the, because, like, I'm assuming we'd go to Japan together, right? Okay, I thought you were saying, like... Shane wasn't there to jerk you off. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's so like might as well jerk off. If we went to uh, if we went to uh, what's that country with Bangkok in it? Uh, Thailand? Taiwan. Yeah, we went to Thailand. or Thailand. Yeah, we went to Thailand. Then I'd be like, oh, I need to jerk off. Shane's right here. Went in Rome, and then I just it's Bangkok. <laughs> yeah. uh, my friend claims I only met this guy once. He's not really like he's my friend, but. I only met him once. He played Xbox Live with my other friend, and then they met in person. He claimed in Thailand that he specifically ordered a ladyboy and had sex with it. And I don't know if he's telling the truth or not, but I don't know why he would claim that and not do it. So I think he he said they went to like an abandoned garage. It was just a bed and a shower, and that was it. And they just pounded it. And then <laughs> a ladyboy? Yeah, as in like... A transgender. Uh, they're not like transgender on purpose, though. A lot of times they're kidnapped. Yeah, they're like they're they... like forced into. It. Yeah, <laughs> but not always. Not always. Not always. There's a lot of people. It's just part of their culture there, where people, you know, become prostitutes, and but they're dressed as women, and then they get fucked in the butt by my friend. So there you go. Do it. Do it that what you will. Maybe he got he he your friend was the one that got fucked. Maybe that's a possibility. All right. Uh, I, I Japan, we're going. Talk about your stream. Stream. Yeah, like in case Jesus or Hollow Knight are uh, watching. <laughs> right. Talk about your yeah, stream. Yeah, I was like, streaming. Talk about your escapades on here, so people will be like, "Oh, maybe we should watch stream." Yeah, the streams are fun. There's this guy called the real jesus so i just call him jesus yeah and on stream because it's you know it's a real jesus she has like a, f- a die guy fan of R2 yeah or something yeah and he's funny he's hilarious i yeah. like oh yeah um, so we should would you want to talk about a little bit more what do you mean like any any escapades you want to talk about huh or you just want to say check it out yeah check it out i mean I, I like it. I have a lot of fun. I try to keep it entertaining. So, so sh- where Jesus where, seems to like it. So. Yeah, Jesus loves it the most. So if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for you. Yeah. But we're, we're thinking about doing a Discord on Jesus' request. So I know we talked about Discord on here before. But yeah, if anyone really, if anyone's interested in it, it might happen soon or next week or three weeks or four weeks from now. And, uh, it might happen sometime, and then I will post a link in it in the. Uh, ep- I'll probably post a ep- link in it for every episode if I make a Discord. So yeah, but we do have an Instagram and a Twitter. It's just the Discord would be like it'd be more active because you guys would be in it. I'm assuming so. You guys would be talking to each other and us. At least Jesus would be in it, right? So, Jesus, and that's all we need. Yeah. Like I fuck oh, everyone else. I just yeah. need Jesus in my life. I, I was I was playing streaming I'd Hollow Knight. The wheel, if you know what I mean. Yeah, the song. <laughs> okay. I I was streaming Hollow Knight yesterday, and the Hollow Knight joined my stream <laughs> to watch it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like a verified account or the no. Hollow Knight? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a, some YouTube channel called Hollow Knight, and it had the <laughs> Hollow Knight <laughs> thing as its profile picture. That's awesome. and, and I, he joined, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm playing you right now!" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, am I making you jump right now? <laughs> what does this feel like? What does this feel like? <laughs> and you start doing something <laughs> a little bit weird. <laughs> Yeah. So but, Hollow Knight, he's wearing a helmet, right? No. Those, he's got two giant black eye holes. Yeah. 
Those are holes, right? No. Those aren't eyes? Those are eyes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they eyes or are those holes? Are those like holes? They're eyes. His name's Hollow Knight, so I assume that they, he was a He's knight? hollow. But also, is he hollow as in he has no eyes? And that He's hollow in that he doesn't have any thoughts. Oh. Yeah, I don't have any thoughts right now either. I've been trying to get back into the game of things, meet some girls. But right now, no thoughts, you know? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I don't. Whatever they can't. It doesn't you. translate. Yeah. Every time you do that, you've got like a massive wingspan. <laughs> it's like, oh right, like that's basically we need to mo- genetically modify you into a bat. <laughs> Be a bat boy. What about a bird? No bat boy. Bats are cool. Well, birds I guess birds. Suck. I guess falcons. birds also have like. Okay, falcons are pretty but, cool. I think of bats. I always think of bats having the little like the fingers at the end of their wings or whatever. Even yeah, it's not yeah. quite the same, but I guess you could just have no hands, just be a bird boy. Yeah, like Falco from Smash. Just just chops because he has no fingers. Yeah, no fingies. Yeah, but and then we could put knives on the end of your like <laughs> leathery wing things. And you can like slash people in the throat. That'd be cool. We're just going to turn Shane to our super assassin. <laughs> For no reason. <laughs> we don't just, need it. <laughs> okay. He just dives out of the sky and slashes people's heads off and then just flies right, away. Yeah, so I guess an anime recommendation. So did you watch Beastars yet? No. Because uh, you've been watching Demon, Demon Slayer. Yeah. So I guess you're recommending it to people right now, right? Yeah, like watch Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Okay. Uh, so I like Beastars a lot. The one that's not as good is BNA, which is also animal people. But there's like a guy who's like a he's like a secret mailer guy who like keeps the underground alive and floating, and he's like an eagle, so he keeps flying around. And then like when he becomes a good guy, he, he keeps like doing like dive kicks and like dive attacks and like picking people up and throwing them and shit because they all become like fighters. Hmm. And eventually the the two main characters, like, the, the main protagonist and antagonist, both learn how to manifest wings. And so they can just, like, make wings appear on them. The main the main character is a Tanuki girl, so she's got mystical powers because she's not, like, a normal animal. So she can shapeshift into other animals, basically. And then the other girl, who's the antagonist, is, like, a unicorn. So, again, another, like, mystical character. And so she can also make wings come out. And so they, like, fly and, like, attack each other. And it's fucking cool, Okay. Okay, birds are cool. Okay, furry shit. Yeah, but it's cool. <laughs> well, they though in that show in BNA they have human forms and animal, like beast forms. They like, transform back and forth, which I understand. That's probably what furries actually want. But I kind of like My Little Pony. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, they do that My Little Pony. I don't know all the lore, but I know sometimes they're people and sometimes yeah, they're yeah. horses. There's like a high school spinoff because they had they got super desperate and they made the. Something girls, the horse girls. It was called something girls, but they were like high schoolers. Yeah. But they're like humans, but they still had like their the color of their fur was their skin. So like one's purple and one's pink. I it looks really bad. <laughs> yeah. So I have never been a brony, but the message boards I used to hang out on yeah. were full of bronies. Well, back in the and day, that's what they freaked out about is that that show you're talking about where yeah. it's like whatever girls or whatever that was like the the brony fantasy so back the brony movement's very fascinating to me because i was on 4chan when it first started and i'm almost positive it started as a joke yeah because it usually does the original people posting i'm pretty sure we're doing it because it was ironic to be super all about this show about like the pony characters and they made a bunch of fucking memes and then people start saying, no, the show's actually good. It's one of, like, the best shows ever made. And this was, like, the same time Adventure Time was coming out. Yeah. And regular show was coming out. Like, they were both in, like, their first few seasons. I was like, I, I, don't, think, I, don't, I don't think I don't think My Little Pony is the best show ever made. <laughs> and that's what killed the Brody movement is, like, I think very serious, weird, nerdy people took it super seriously. Versus, like, the original people on 4chan who were just, like, taking the normal 4chan memes and then changing it to My Little Pony characters and just being really, really absurd with it. And it was pretty funny. But, like, it was like the community had some funny people in it, but then, like, and I would read it, like, this is so fucking, like, I was loving it. I would see it on 4chan and I would die laughing because people were getting, like, super trolled and triggered about it. Mm-hmm. But then people, it was, like, literally a blink of an eye just changed, like, people just 
were way too serious about it. And then it, then like the brony movement really took off in the way that we know it today. And so My Little Pony, uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure everyone just wants to fuck them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They, they're like, ooh, eyelashes? What? Cartoonish eyelashes on a female character? Well, I've never seen that before. And then they want to fuck them, even though it's, okay. Well, and they got that, that horse pussy, so. The hor- yeah, everyone everyone knows horse pussy is better than, than <laughs> human <laughs> pussy. I don't even know what a horse pussy looks like, and I'm going to keep it that way. I've, I've seen horse dick because it's so big, there's no way yeah. to hide it. But, like, literally, you don't even try. <laughs> it's just a, it's their third leg down there. But horse pussy, I've, I don't want to know. I'm, I'm not into it. Usually it's, you know, the funny thing is, like, people are like, oh, typical fucking nerd men being horny for everything, including little girl cartoon characters. But it's like, yeah, but real women fuck animals at a much higher rate, I feel like. I feel like women... Like, it's always, like they're it's more always open horse about it. fucking a girl. Yeah. <laughs> or, or dog fucking a girl, which is a super common one, or a something fucking a girl. And so it's like... But, like, and the guys are just encouraging it. They're just like, yes. I feel like girls are definitely more open about it because yeah. they can also get paid for it. Like, if you posted... That's true. A video of a guy fucking a dog, if like, like no one's is, gonna pay for that. This is rape. Yeah, <laughs> and but if a girl does it, they're like, "Oh, do I do I like you. this?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the the whole Whitney Wisconsin stuff with <laughs> that really that changed that scarred me for life because. I went to her Twitter and just the replies are nothing but girls being like, "I'm so glad you you put out tutorials on how to get dogs to fuck you," and there's just so many girls. And this one girl, it was just her being like, "That canine content last night was so hot." I was like, "Why?" <laughs> like it it mind broke me a little bit. I don't trust uh, white women anymore. <laughs> it's, all, it's always scary when the internet can still do that to you after yeah. like so many years of being on the internet. You yeah, still can see something well, it's and like, be like. I oh I oh. like like one time my friend showed me this YouTuber who all he does is go to abandoned malls and explore them yeah. or abandoned prisons and explore them and I'm like I love the internet because you get to like 4chan was the same way you get to find a secret society that nobody knows about but it's in plain sight and completely open yeah you just have to find it and I so like this guy's showing all this cool shit including the underground mall that was in St Louis that's still there like he explored that mall it's abandoned. And, it's, and there's like still like cups out like where people just had them the last day like they, there's no they didn't clean shit all the stores are like fucking right they didn't have to like. it's insane it's so cool though and like he goes to prisons he goes to, he went to that Disney theme park that got closed down that like never became it like never even became a thing in uh China I, I don't know if it's China it was in one it was some country though some weird country though nothing like out too out of the ordinary I think it was maybe somewhere in Africa I don't remember, but it's like he, he, that stuff's fucking badass though, like to explore that shit. But then you see people, you find this like group of people who have an extremely weird niche. And sometimes those niches are just absolutely terrifying and you wish it was just one guy, (laughs) but it's it's not one guy. It's like, if you've ever seen those videos and like pictures of uh, people who want to become or want to transition or whatever so yeah. they'll do it at home with rubber bands where yeah. they'll wrap it around their nuts until their nuts fall off yeah fucking um chris chan's like that he's into home remedy transitioning he like refuses to do it like the medical procedure and he, and he refuses to, he refuses to get therapy before i go to the doctor for anything and it might be because he's poor and we live in america if you live in the uk they pay for your all your shit and apparently in the uk it's super common for trans people to transition like like do their genitals like it's a surgery for their genitals yeah and in america it's super common for trans people to keep their genitals and like if you talk to americans they're like yeah uh, it's a no-brainer you got to keep them and then uk it's like why would you keep them there's no fucking reason just change just change it but like in uk they pay for it in america they don't so it's like i don't know but anyway he's super or i'll say she christian is super into it super into home remedy transitioning and it, it's just like he's 
she's just doing weird shit to her body. <laughs> it's it doesn't do any. It's not real. You yeah. guys need medical professionals. But yeah, tying rubber bands to your nuts and doing anything to like mutilate yourself is fucked up. Basically, yeah, it makes it's it's so hard to watch. It's yeah. Yeah, when I've I've never there's seen a, there's a huge artery in your nutsack too. So oh my god, I've never seen one guy one jar, but I I've heard it, and so when people play the audio file, I I just go because <laughs> it's the video where a guy shoves a mason jar up his asshole like all the way and then it breaks and then it breaks and he said it took like he said he bled for hours because and he had to like it took he had to, like remove the shards of glass from inside his body out. And like, yeah, it, it, yeah, that's probably the most insane pain. Like, Why? Why did he do that? I don't think he meant to break it inside. Oh. I think it was an accident. Because I think he was like a gay porn star guy, and he was just shoving things up his butt. And but the video you hear like, and then you hear like crunch, 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 and that crunching is like his asshole just being torn to fucking shreds. And it's like, you can't even move, but it, but at that point, it's too late. Like, if you move, you're making it worse, but also, like, it's already too late. You're just fucked, you know? Was but he let, do like, it all himself, too? Take out all the glass himself? I think... S- I, there's a there's a Tales from the Internet video about it, but uh, he I don't want to say the wrong thing, even though this is not that important of an issue. But I'm, he mentioned taking out a lot of it himself and sucking up the blood out of his ass, like, all night and... And basically having, like, his asshole just, like, fucked up for, like, a long time, basically. Basically, it's the most horrific sound ever. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Thank you, internet. We can end it soon. Unless you have another thing to say. About weird stuff online. Oh. Uh, I mean, we talk about weird stuff online all the time. There's no reason to not do it now. I was just gonna say, it wasn't that... Like- Pretty close to what Goatsy was, too. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, Goatsy, I think, was, like, just a gay guy. With a wine bottle, right? Oh, I don't know. I just I won't, I just know the the spread thing. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what he stuck up there. But that would make sense, because his asshole was just enormously gaping. Yeah. And people... After people kept getting, like, banned off websites for posting links to Goatsy, like, hey, we're not posting on the website. It's a link to Goatsy. And, they, and that website got taken down, and, like, everyone was just, like, banning the shit out of it. People would just take the same hands from the picture, yeah. and it'd always be like him, like, it'd be like a tree with a hole in it, it's like his hands are there, or it'd be like, anything with like a hole, they just put his hands there, like, spreading it open, yeah. and they're like, there it is, and it's, and it's like, I'm not looking at something, but it literally makes my asshole hurt looking at it, <laughs> like, it just, I hate, I hate that stuff. Yeah. Gaping things I don't like, okay? Don't like gaping things. Yeah, uh, anyone out there watch Tales of the Internet, just, you'll learn about Goatsy, you'll learn about One Man, One Jar, you'll learn about Two Girls, One Cup, you'll learn that about... That one's not even bad, honestly. It's not, but but the history behind it is pretty interesting to me. It's, a lot of people would tell backstories about it on, like, like urban legends and myths, but, like, I've never heard the real story. I thought I did. So, like, learning, like, where the video actually came from, and who distributed it, and when George Bush tried to get it banned, and then after it came out, uh, scat porn was, like, illegal in America for a... Like, I think it's still illegal in America. Like, there's an interesting... Really? Yeah, there's very... In, and that's because of George W. Bush during the Two Girls, One Cup era. It's a very... There's a lot of interesting history surrounding Two Girls, One Cup, so... And I'm pretty sure he does go over the fact that it is fake. Can't remember. I, I, I might be real, but I think it was fake. It looks fake. We gotta watch... They shoved stuff up their butt, and then it came out. I What I'm pretty sure happened, but yeah. We don't gotta watch Two Girls, One Cubs, but we should watch the Tales from the Internet after this. No, I will watch Tales from the Internet all night. I love that. I love his content. Wang? No, we should watch the Two Girls, One Cubs video. Yeah, of... we can. Okay. We can watch it, yeah. While we eat our food. Yeah. Yeah, mmm. We'll eat chocolate ice cream while we watch. Mmm. Hey, just... Yeah, I sent you guys uh, in the group chat the video of... Him with the, the the woman who knitted her son. It's like a life-size version of her son. That way she could cuddle it. But that was a joke. But people thought it was real and started harassing her. <laughs> oh. But she did knit a fucking human boy-sized thing. And then her son wore it. So he was like 
moving in it, but it was only pictures. It was like acting like a mannequin, and it really people got fucked up like about it because they thought what? that she made a perfect replica of her son <laughs> and was like cuddling it at night and stuff. Which I don't think that part's not weird to me, but it is weird the idea of not letting go of like your real human son and just getting more in love and attached with the fake son. But it is a real person inside of it. It was like his younger brother was inside of it the whole oh. time. And all the two bro- brothers and her were all in on the joke. They all knew they were trolling the internet. But I mean it's But yeah. She she's just trying to show off how good she is at knitting, basically. But, like, yeah, it was just a funny story. But, like, I remember when that came out, people were, like, not okay with it. Because he looks... It's that Uncanny Valley thing. Uh, but also, there is something called the Sally doll. It's Sally from Sonic. Like, the... If she wasn't... She's not in the game. She's only in the cartoon show. But Sally the Squirrel is another character that people are like, Oh, this... I'm a furry now. <laughs> Sally's the... She's, like... She's a squirrel. She's, like, brown and wears a blue jacket. She, she's not in any of the games. Literally none of the games. No, but I used to watch... Sonic X is a kid. She's not in Sonic X. Okay. She's in Sonic the Hedgehog. I think it's just called Sonic the Hedgehog. (laughs) Okay. But there was like, there's three old Sonic cartoons and she's only in one of them. And she's in all the comic books. But anyway. Rogue the Bat too. Yeah. For the furry thing like you were saying. Yeah, she makes. That game didn't make me a furry, but I would fly towards the the camera and her boobs are just going like up and down. I'd be like, huh. <laughs> would you look at that? I'd be like, would you look at that? <laughs> but uh, Rouge is a cool character. I just think she's neat. That's all. All right, anyway, moving on. Uh, Rouge got voted to the, that one video. Rouge is the hottest Sonic character. The hottest female Sonic <laughs> character. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't remember all of his reasons, but... Once it, once he was like... She's totally badass. Once it was I like, like the... No, his reason was like... And she has not one male, but two males with Knuckles and Shadow. Who wouldn't want that? I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> you want two boyfriends? I don't understand. Anyway. Yeah, that... It's just... His things were... One of his transitions was like, And what comes next after five? Four, of course. And it's like, what? That's... The- <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and, then, and then number eight, he goes, Number... He goes, Numero ocho. Uh, 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 and he writes eight in Spanish. And <laughs> <laughs> like, it's <Yeah>. really... Like, <laughs> he just... The way he edited it was so perfect. I love the... He put all of his jokes in this one Sonic video. It's perfect. Yeah. I, <laughs> I go, one, two, three, four, five. Lightning strikes. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then it's just moves up. there's so many weird random gags in that thing <laughs> the like pyrokinesis chick yeah he goes, and she's hot no really <laughs> <laughs> her boyfriend has psychic powers that makes her even better it's like what <laughs> yeah anyway yeah Rouge the Bat what were we talking about oh Sally there's a guy who made a life size Sally doll that's like I don't know probably as tall as one of us and he used uh, a mannequin like bone thing as like her actual skeleton on the inside so it has like bones for arms and legs but it's not real bones but he painted them so people thought they were real bones <laughs> yes <laughs> but it, yeah but he did use like an actual skeleton for the skeleton of the doll so it is weird the idea of like you have a doll like imagine those like real doll sex dolls when you like cut into it and it's got like a fucking rib cage and like bones and shit you'd be fucking like pissing your pants yeah. that's fucking weird but yeah no that's it, what all real dolls are it's just the bone and just the skeleton, skeleton the skeleton bone. thing is just that's like a weird creepy layer to it but knowing it's fake isn't that bad but the doll itself is one of those like uncanny th- it looks like a life size furry it looks like someone's in the fursuit and it's fucking weird I don't like it <laughs> Anyway, we can end it here. It's been an hour and ten minutes, which I can I can uh, compress the audio super far down. Shane, the best MP3 quality is so much uh, smaller as a size compared to the WAV files, which are like the best quality, which is what I've been using. But so like the best quality MP3, where it sounds basically the same as this, is so much significantly smaller that I can. We could we could still make these longer and post it on Anchor just fine. So sweet. So the episode fifty is the first one that's on like Google Podcast. It's on Spotify. It's on like three episode other ones. Episode seventeen was on Spotify. 
It is? It wasn't supposed to be. I told it not to. Maybe because I changed the settings it is now. But I'm fine. Episode 17 was a good one. I, I, Which one was 17? It's just me and Shane. But it's the one where we talk about iDubs being a simp. Okay. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I'm fine with that one. That's a great piece of history. Because like, when that happened, whenever people were like... Everyone was talking about iDubs and his girlfriend at that time. Yeah. So playing in R2 Sense was great. It, it's timeless at this point because it was such an iconic event. It's crazy that that was like less than a year ago. Yeah. Well, it was a... Hmm... It was like last year, it was further than this time, but yeah, yeah, you're right, less than a year ago. But it was like, hmm, when was it? I don't remember. Anyway, episode 17 though, it's weird to think that we're on episode 51 now. And we have a new picture done by our friend that I'm going to link, and we... Is that the, uh, uh, Michael? I think his name's Matt. I didn't want to say his name because I don't remember. Matt. You're right. Michael. It, it, it is Michael? Wait, Matthew. It's Matthew. Matthew. God damn it. Matthew. I was right. Anyway, yeah, but I tagged his Hey, in- shout out to Matthew, though. I tagged mm-hmm. his Instagram, so I did Shout out to Jesus. I didn't want to say his real name because it's like, his Instagram name is what you guys need to check out. But he did mention on the last video, he commented, said, hey, it's my art. So I was like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so major shout outs to, to Matthew. Shout outs to Jesus for watching the stream. That's so funny. Jesus will get there and he'll be like, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> it's like five minutes into the stream. He's like, sorry, I'm late. And then he'll stay the entire time. Yeah. The entire stream. He's a pro. Like, yeah, he's a fucking Chad. Yeah. And he's really good at Hollow Knight, apparently. Yeah. Well. I still got Hollow Knight. He, he's the one who told you to play it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything for Jesus. All right, let's get some food and watch some Tales from the Internet. Cause I just want to watch weird internet shit now. Yeah, let's watch some porn. Okay. You need to bring your quest. Damn. Bring your VR so we can watch porn together. <laughs> we have to turn off the lights. And then I go, oh, it feels like someone's really touching it. And then, meanwhile, it's like Shane down there. And he's looking at Jeremiah going, shh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to turn and Jeremiah's off the- so scared he just can't move. <laughs> <laughs> you have to turn off the lights so it's they, not gay. They do that. They do, like the, the, they do that in porn now. They're like, yeah. The guy's like, whoa, whoa, I feel so amazing. It's like I'm really there. And he's like, fucking a girl. Yeah. It's kind of lame, though, because it's like, you're not cool. I don't know. Do you think it's insulting to a girl if you're wearing VR while having sex with her? Yeah. Like, but what if it's not you're watching porn? What if it's like you're watching a, like a hentai or like a 3D anime booby girl while fucking her? I would think that would That's be the future. Thing. That's the future. Something. Yeah. <laughs> If she's okay with it. I feel like you're right, though, Jeremiah. Some girls are more insulted by anime than other girls. You would think they'd be like, oh, well, I don't have to worry about that. That's not real competition. But I think some girls are just so disgusted by the idea that men would rather be with something that's not a real girl. Right. Like, not them at all. Yeah, it's like, I'm giving up on the real women. I'm going anime now. Full anime. Going full anime. Full metal anime. Super cool. Give me a like if you like that. Go to my uh, Tinder profile. Give me a swipe. Ask me out on a date. <laughs> I don't have a Tinder profile. <laughs> All right, let's end this bitch and get some food. All right. Anyone want to say goodbye? Let's see what Jeremiah do this. Wasteland Podcast signing out.